short squeeze stocks to watch so the first one is ACY stock the other one is AHPI stock and the other one the last one is uh, XELA stock so this first one is Aerocentury Corp um, some news came out but it wasn't today it was yesterday I think uh, they have a some way forward as it concerns their bankruptcy case but um, nothing nothing much happened during that uh, session the session of the 10th of August but today we now saw some extension it closed at $24.99 an extension of 46.40% but at some point it reached as high as $28.40 which is an extension of um, of about uh, 66 percent so let's even see that you see if some even it was even higher than that higher than that 66 percent in this case I think we are probably looking up at uh, close to seven more than 70 percent at some point yeah so these we, we also noticed earlier on today that the shots the, the short volumes have uh, dropped out Yes, the short volumes have reduced significantly. ACY can now see it is at 6.86%. Uh, but, but we now, there is an increase even at that, an increase of 42%. Uh, assuming that this is correct, this is the data for today, the 11th of August, then um, given this extension it ran up today, the short volumes or uh, short interest has also increased evidently as as it is uh, it's indicating a 42 percent increase so yes um i, I mean acy used to be on that list they had a significant short interest or short volume as the case may be but um today they may have been squeezed out and even at that um they still persist um yeah that is usually case the, the case so as it, as it closed based on the one minute live model the stock uh, momentum was just uh, in trying to improve MACD definitely below the signal line the RSI was also uh, slightly improving but on the daily model let's uh, look at the daily model and see what's going on there yeah the stock is strongly, strongly bullish strongly bullish there the momentum is also improving not too poor MACD above the signal line, um, RSI, you know, all of these. The stock has very strong bullish signals, even though, I mean, it will that will be the case because, you know, it's a short, um, it's a shorted stock as such, you know, the implication of that is bullishness. So it wouldn't be unusual to see um, that with Aero Century. The Aero Century is also, as we can, as we show, uh, pointed out, is uh, battling bankruptcy, and uh, we all know that amongst other things, when companies are battling with bankruptcy, short sellers tend to pounce on them. And of late, um, a lot of uh, market participants, but market participants now are very, 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 very conscious of uh, shorted, shorted stocks. You know, simply because shutting means bullishness you know so um, you can make the case that they are you know trying to uh, make money and all that stuff you know but by locking up money in the stock you know we all get attracted and we go for for those for those uh, stocks so yes it is um well, for now the volumes are no more the short volumes don't seem to be that much anymore so um, just be careful and know what you're doing with the stock. The, the signals are very much bullish. There's a good chance it may continue to extend bullishly, but today it ran up a huge amount of extension. So an extension that was probably close to 70% or more than 70% and has, uh, and as such, it has probably lost up to 30% of those um, gains it made had earlier on in the session of today, the 11th of uh, August, 2021 so that's that's to some extent that's good because you know it um, has cooled off from that uh, very high um, rally uh, so but i think all in all the there's a good chance the con stock will continue to extend the bullish signals out there um, it has it at some point it, it corrected and has since continued to extend forward so it's an indication that 
if not um, humans, the machines believe that the stock has, it should be going up, you know, and that is probably what it is plotting amongst other things. And I mean, amongst other things, including the fact that uh, short sellers had to be squeezed out or must be, you know, or felt that, you know, you know market participants felt that, you know, I mean, it, it's not it's not a case of that, you know, trying to or feeling anything. It's the stock had bullish implications by the virtue of it being shorted. So the machines, yes, and humans as well, you know. So um, there's a good chance it will continue. It may continue. It may, but um, we just bear in mind that the short uh, volumes or short interest has is no longer that 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 high, even though it increased by forty something percent, you know, today alone. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and uh, look at a HPI. A HPI up uh, closed at uh, $12.69, an extension of 18.05%. So this is also a strongly bullish stock. Um, but the above the signal line, momentum uh, not too poor, it's improving. At 68.48 RSI very very strong above 70 at 75.17 this is the daily model so let's look at what happened uh, in the one minute model so you see it's also a case of it's it was a, is a, it's it closed at 18.05 percent but it was higher than that I think it was up to 40 percent uh, I think so let's even see whether we we had a higher figure so we ha this figure is 13.26%. This is what happened today, the 11th of August. So let's see whether we, we had any fig, any higher. Yes, we had, absolutely had something more than that. Something more. So yeah, right about the open, it's spiked, you know, to 15.38. So it's opened the session at, 11 uh, okay let's say it, it, it opened a session at 11.63 see 11.63 dollars and spike to 15.38 dollars at some point so that is easily close to 50 percent extension in that session it wasn't up to that, not, not up to that, but um, at least up to four, at least bottom 40%. So this is what all that, all that happened in the once in the day in based on one, all that happened today alone. So yes, it's uh, definitely also one of the stocks that has uh, a handy amount of uh, short interest, a H P I. Yes, you can see it's at 17.77%. It has decreased by 66%. Okay, so even at that, it is, it is uh, still something. It's, it is still something. So some of that, some of those uh, short positions may have been forced out. So they may, be, may have been forced to, be, they, must be, they may have been forced uh, into closure. Yes, that's that may have been the case. So the stock is they're also a strongly bullish stock as well. You can see, you know, the it's uh, trading at the at the premium to all of its moving averages, and all of them are strongly bullish. All of them, yeah. So definitely, uh, there's a good chance that is what we face today because there isn't there wasn't really any news as such. So the short squeeze came to AHPI Allied Health uh, stock. Uh, so the next one will be um, X E L A X E L A stock. Exila Technologies Inc. It's rallied by only a modest nine point four seven percent. This is a daily model. It's uh, it appears to be correcting within a longer term bullish trend, and the stock is uh, currently fifty five percent above this two hundred day moving average. So this is the daily model. Let's look at the one minute model and see what happened there. This is the one minute model. Okay, at some point it was actually higher than that, than what we're looking at right now. So 
he may have been we have an extension of uh, it reached 3.2 dollars so that will yeah so easily may have been close to 15 percent extension and i think it's short interest is Is that is 7.65 so it's much is one of the most pronounced of the three the most pronounced of the three of them and it's actually increased by five percent so maybe um, given all that has happened this extension that happened today maybe they have uh, also added more positions added um, more much the machines or whoever may have issued may, may have um, opened up more sh uh, short positions May that may there's a good chance indeed that would have you know with, with every rally in you know we're seeing of date there will there's usually um short uh, volumes involved in uh, the entire uh, in that whole mix you know so yes um exila also you know up 9.47 percent as well so uh there's a good chance uh, what happened may have been the case of um a short squeeze as well though the, what the rally wasn't that much let's see whether we can see whether there's any news concerning um exila this might take, take some time before we get get uh, the data there so yes there's a good chance that may have been the case let's see whether we can get any news unusual option activity today yes you can see that let's see Exila expands a relationship with uh, a large healthcare member engagement leader. Okay, so there's some news as well, and there was also some option activity, unusual option option activity. Exila will provide technology and operation solutions in the total value of approximately seven point five million dollars. Partnership uh, connects membership partnership. I mean we. we in a total value of approximately seven point five million dollars, partnership partnership connects members in many healthcare organizations, health ish insurers, and U.S. government programs. Uh, today, it announced an expanded strategy partnership to utilize. Um, Exilus technology and operation solutions with uh, a large healthcare member engagement leader. The expansion will provide technology and operation solutions in a contract with a total value of approximately seven point five million dollars. Yeah, so that may may or may be the reason why we saw that extension. But all in all, we you know, this is definitely um, a stock that is heavily shorted. So whatever the I mean. I mean, we can't uh, just say that it's because of the positive news. The positive news will ultimately lead to a short squeeze as well, because you know, with the rally, people with the with the with the positive news, um, people will go on buying, and then the short sellers will, uh, will rush to cover their positions. Okay, so um, thank you very much uh, for watching this video.